Hey, what's up everyone? Long time no see. <laughs> Haven't posted a video in about three weeks, I think. So, uh, yeah, I uh, I moved to a new place, a new country, uh, actually. So I'm gonna roll the camera here. If you can, uh, if you can guess in the comment section where I am. I'm gonna only show you the neighborhood. I'm not gonna show anything else that could uh, give you a hint. So. Uh, make sure to put in the comment section where you think I am. So uh, most of you know that I'm originally from Tunisia and uh, I study medicine in Russia. So uh, I came here to stay for a one month clinical rotation. I was just at the hospital. This is why I'm wearing my scrubs. Uh, so put in the comment section where you think I am. But besides that, today I wanted to make a video talking about a comment that I just received and I read yesterday and was um, from a girl actually. A woman who's watching my channel and um, she was wondering why are men so insecure she said about their hair um, uh, most of us women do not care even look at it um, and uh, I'm gonna discuss my personal feelings and this is a video that would be beneficial to women yes maybe even more than men so uh, if you're a woman if, if you're watching my channel make sure to stick to the end of the video but uh, besides that, I wanted to announce that I just opened a new option to my consultation service. I was uh, I um, received a lot of demand and uh, did three consultations this uh, past week. I have also one other consultation about five hours uh, from now uh, at about 6 p.m. And uh, I can do the consultation in Arabic, French. Russian or English <laughs> you choose the language I don't do Spanish I had one uh, try to speak Spanish to me but um, unfortunately that's the only language that I don't speak uh, from the famous big uh, five languages um, so now you can not only book a 30 minute talk with me uh, about hair loss uh, for um, a certain amount but you can book a an hour uh, talk with me because some of the uh, patients or some of the customers because um, I said time and time again that this is uh, not a doctor's consultation this is a um, talk between me as a youtuber I'm not a doctor yet and you guys so uh, you can do either a one hour or you can go with the 30 minute option but besides that uh, today's video is about how women could understand why is hair loss so important to us and to understand this you gotta keep one thing in mind a lot of women think of hair loss and why it affects men so much psychologically is because they think it's related to them in a certain fashion or they think we care about hair loss because we think we will be less attractive to women and while that can be correct um, for some men I know it's not for me personally and it's not for the majority of the audience of my channel because um, I, I have some communications with you guys through emails and this recent consultation service and uh, uh, the zoom calls that we make and uh, um, through the comment section as well and a lot of you do care about hair loss just because of the same reason that I care about hair loss about and that is we feel uh, like we're losing something we feel like we're losing a battle you gotta understand from the day you are born you are born with certain characteristics with certain physical features hair being one of them so you're born with a certain skin tone uh, you're born with a certain um, uh, color of the eyes you're born with a center of pheno with a certain phenotype and um, that uh, shapes your physical identity and when that particular phenotype is decreasing or is uh, being altered or um, uh, is changing somehow um, in a worse fashion like hair loss you start to have problems with yourself you start to have problems uh, identifying and um, have self-identity issues when looking at yourself in the mirror so it's not as essentially a problem with the opposite sex or being attractive to women or men if you like men don't have any problem with that um, it's more of a problem with yourself you feel like you're losing your identity although that is 100% not a correct statement hair loss should not define you or hair should not define you as a person I agree with that I'm all for that but that's all theoretical when we come to practical things 
you feel like your physical identity is so attached to that particular feature hair uh, to the point that when you start losing it you feel like you're being strapped out of something that means a lot to you so uh, yeah i just wanted to respond to this comment it's not about um, uh, being attractive to the opposite sex it's not about getting as much girls as we want this it's not about it it's not about that believe me girls and if you're a woman um, you gotta uh, speak to your friend maybe you have a father or maybe a friend or a brother who's suffering from hair loss and you'll um, get an idea about how we men look at it uh, that's one thing so um, another comment that I wanted to respond to is uh, a guy told me that I have a severe hair loss and maybe you guys in the camera cannot see it but uh, I have diffuse thinning all over my scalp plus I have vertex thinning plus I have thinning in my donor area now <coughs> excuse me what can you do in such situation um, you can try doing pharmacological interventions which are most of the time the most effective in this type of hair loss and diffuse hair loss and I do but in my case it was not uh, effective in terms of regrowing my hair it was effective in terms of uh, slowing down not even stopping but slowing down the hair loss which is the whole point of taking fda approved treatments like finasteride uh, so what can i do i cannot do a hair transplant because one i'm still young two i don't have any money for to do it and three um, i don't have the donor area to do it to cover to, maybe i do now but to make a projection of the future of my hair uh, if it will progress this way, alopecia uh, will progress this way, I will not have sufficient donor area to cover all of the area that's going to thin. So what am I going to do? And this is in part some of the conversation that I have with you, some of you guys that book the consultation with me. Um, and by the way, I'm going to leave the links to the uh, consultation service. You can go and book right now. Um, but there is a certain protocol that I follow personally and I preach to the um, uh, people and to the viewers of the channel that I talk to to follow as well and that is if you have a certain degree and if you're not a good candidate for a hair transplant or you think that in the future uh, you do a projection of the degree of hair loss and the evolution of your androgenetic alopecia and you feel like you're not going to be a good candidate for a hair transplant here is the certain protocol that you got to follow. And it's a good protocol. It makes you uh, feel a sense of security and a sense of uh, um, like you're in control of your situation, which is, again, uh, the thing that bothers us in the first place. It's not the physical look that bothers us, but it's the fact that we don't control our situation. And it's the fact that we're losing a battle and we can't do anything about it. So I follow this uh, particular protocol and I will maybe make another video in the future telling that particular protocol in details. But for now, I do have somewhat of a plan of what I'm going to do in the future. I am uh, really happy with my the condition of my hair in the current time. And I mean, of course, some days are better than others. Some days I feel like on top of the world and I have the best hair ever. And some days I feel like you know um like uh, like i'm not satisfied with my looks uh so uh, yeah that's uh, it's a short video i just wanted to uh discuss these two comments and uh, tell you guys about the new feature uh that i just added to the consultation service on calendly and uh, that's it uh, I, I will make a new video uh next week on vertoporfin because there are some new updates about vertoporfin and the clinical trials conducted not only by Dr. Barghouti but also some other doctors joined in to do the same clinical research and um, I'm really sorry guys for making scheduling for posting videos so unfrequent but I'm so uh, busy with this clinical rotation and um, I will tell you in the next video in which exact country I am in um, yeah that's uh i just wanted to make a quick update plus uh respond to a comment and that's it guys see you guys on next week i promise i'll make a video next week and um yeah as always stay safe